Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Autograph Hound, and today's autograph is actually going to be a special one, because this one I have more of a story for than others. Autographs, well at least one of the reasons I collect them, and I think one of the reasons people collect them in general, tend to have stories behind them. I mean, the Barnes & Noble ones have been showing a lot because, you know, they're easy to get, and I do like collecting them, but ones like these are a little bit more personal. Now, this autograph I actually got in person, uh, Masami Suda. She was at Comic-Con, I believe it was either 2005 or 2006, I think it was 2006, and, well, um, well, I, first of all, there's, this is kind of like a two-part story, so, like, first of all, I guess first of all, I'll show you what the signature looks like, for those of you who are curious. I'm very careful with this book, but this is what it looks like. As you can see, she practiced and made like an English signature for the American fans, which is really nice. I believe, I believe this is a first edition. Uh, okay, no, it's not exactly a first edition, but you know. Uh, and this book, this book from Tokyo Pop is out of print. I don't know if this will ever be relicensed, but you know, there you have it. So anyway, the story behind this one, aside from it being a Comic-Con, is when I went to Comic-Con for the years I did go, I tended to focus more on the Japanese manga artists than the American ones, because the American artists would come back, and they weren't as valuable. The manga artists, they were unique. They usually came once, maybe twice in a few years, but they're rarely making frequent trips over to America. Um, Yashiro Naito being a rare example, and I will make a video about his autograph. And to celebrate her being over here, Tokyo Pop actually had a panel just for her. Now, at the end of the panel, you know, there's like a bunch of questions being asked. I, um, I asked, I think, you know, how do you feel right now knowing that Americans are reading your manga? Did you ever think we'd read it? That's what I asked at the time. Most people asked, like, you know, is there ever going to be a second season of the anime? And, you know, yada, yada, yada. Well, Another memorable thing about this particular autograph is that when um, Masami Suda came, she actually offered gifts to people. Uh, they, she asked questions afterwards like, you know, what in the works stood out for you that was different in America? Like you didn't recognize it in America. And I raised my hand, she called on me. And I said that I was surprised that the students in the school were actually forced to clean up the classroom afterwards. Like, in America, that would never happen. We have janitors. Granted, this didn't really surprise me. I was familiar with Japanese culture, but it stood out like this was different. So she actually handed me a gift, which I keep here. And I think these are pencil boards. At least I believe, believe they, yeah, I believe they're, or they're postcards. These are actually, these are actually Japanese postcards. Now, I think I opened these once. Um, if I did, it's kind of hard, hard to tell because this thing gets sealed. Um, I, or did I ever open that? Yeah, no, I did. I did. So let's... I have rarely taken these out of the package, but we're going to do that for this. In fact, I'm going to put this phone down for a moment so that I can open this. So these are the postcards, and the idea behind this is that you're supposed to write down a message, your name or address, and you're supposed to remove this and peel it on the back of this custom-made postcard. So here we have, well, we have the two, almost, the two leads in almost all of them, except for this one where it just has the two different sides of the main hero. So this was given to me personally by Masami Suda, which means this is obviously a treasured possession because, you know, it's a personal gift. And then, of course, after the Q&A, she did a book signing. Now, I'm going to share a fun little story about that book signing, although this is not meant to embarrass anyone. Not that I know anyone's name. But the final gift that she had brought was like a little diary of some sort of Caracano or an art book. It was really, really nice. And the question was asked, who traveled the farthest? And someone raised uh, her hand and said that she was from Hawaii and she got it. But then other people mentioned like someone was from Canada and then it turned out that the lady who had gotten the book, 
she actually was stationed in San Diego, so she really hadn't traveled that far because then my mom pointed out that she was from New Jersey. It kind of it almost turned into a little bit of a fight. Well, we went to the book to the book signing and she was in front of us. And I think after a few minutes of being there, she ended up leaving saying I didn't want to she didn't want to wait too long. I think she just got embarrassed about what had happened and she missed her chance to get a signed book. But we got it. And uh, once more, again, I'm very, very careful with this one for obvious reasons. That's what it looked like. And so I keep these things together. I will put it back in there when this video is done. And I kind of tell people, when people ask, what are your favorite autographs to collect? It's like, well, there's two kinds. There's manga artists and there's Academy Award winners. So, and this is, by the way, an excellent series. It's out of print now. However, if you can find some used copies of the books, I think there's like... 16 or 18 something like that. It, it, it is a fairly long series, but it's well worth reading Highly recommend it. And anyway, we're gonna leave that one there. Uh, 